Hello from the Spanish Fort High School Administration. The purpose of this video is to provide a clear example of what we expect as far as the uh, dress code is concerned. Uh, please understand that the dress code policy is provided by the Baldwin County Board of Education. We try to follow it exactly the way it was written. We, uh, they do allow us to make some, uh, some reservations and some extensions as far as what you're allowed to wear. Uh, we add some additional colors and things such as that. Uh, but we felt like there was a little bit of a misunderstanding as far as what is, uh, what is allowed and what isn't, so we thought that maybe providing some, some pictures and some explanation would help in this matter. Uh, also, please understand that, uh, of course, not every small detail can be covered, and it is up to the discretion of the administration to make decisions as far as that's concerned. So I hope this uh, video will provide you some help in understanding what we expect, and uh, thank you for watching. The first example I want to show you is a picture of a student who is dressed in proper uniform. Notice that this student is chosen to wear a, an approved PTA shirt. Uh, the PTA shirts come in several different colors. Uh, this is one of the long sleeve shirts, the khakis. Uh, the khaki shorts are also an approved uh, short, a bottom to wear. Um, the PTA shirts can be worn Monday through Friday, any day of the week. It's one of the good things about ordering the PTA shirts from us. Uh, another example of a student in proper uniform, the student is, has on another color and it's a short sleeve version of the PTA shirt. Uh, again, this student can, and can wear this uh, shirt Monday through Friday. Uh, the shorts being worn here are also uh, approved. They are of khaki color and just another good example of how you should be dressed. This is another example of a student dressed in proper uniform. Note this student has on one of the collared shirts. Collared shirts can be solid, white, navy, red, or black. Uh, collared shirt with sleeves or turtleneck is also allowed. Uh, students also wear an, proper, uh, an approved bottom. Uh, notice the pants are a khaki in color. Um, you can also wear jeans. Uh, it's not in the picture, but jeans is also an approved uh, bottom that can be worn. Uh, this next shirt is an example of a shirt that is not allowed Monday through Thursday. It is only allowed to be worn on Friday. It is a spirit shirt. Spirit days are designated for Friday. On Fridays you can wear anything Spanish sport, whether it's sports or clubs. Uh, that is the only day that you will be allowed to wear uh, anything other than what's on, what's on the approved policy. Uh, another example of what not to wear. Uh, this student's uh, Top is a French club uh, t-shirt. This student should only be wearing this shirt on Friday. So you are not allowed to wear this shirt Monday through Thursday. It's only, be, it's only allowed to be uh, worn on Friday. Also, it's, uh, the shorts kind of look blue, but uh, when we took the picture, I can promise you those shorts are black. Black shorts are not allowed as well. Red shorts or black shorts cannot be worn here at Spanish Fort High School. Uh, this is a student who is uh, about to board the trade school bus, uh, the North Baldwin Center for Technology. Uh, if you are leaving in the morning, you're allowed to wear these, uh, this t-shirt. This, this is not an approved t-shirt for any day of the week. Uh, it is not related to any sports or clubs, but uh, it is proper for the trade that the student's about to go partake in. Uh, when the students come back from trade school, you must change into an approved shirt. If you're going to the afternoon, you can change into this before you get on the bus, but you must come to school in proper uniform. The pants are an example of jeans that can be worn here, and the boots are fine also. Uh, another example of uh, what cannot be worn here at school, this is an example of uh, red shorts. The, uh, like I said before, red shorts and black shorts are not allowed. Please remember that the bottoms, the only approved bottoms, uh, must be khaki or navy blue. Now we'd like to go over the policy in regards to sweaters and sweatshirts being worn at school. Our policy allows for sweatshirts to be a solid black, red, brown, navy, tan, gray, or white in color. We also have made some exceptions and allowed college logos to be on the sweatshirt as long as they are in these matching colors. This is an example of an Alabama sweatshirt uh, that is of red color and is allowed. This would be another example of a college logo shirt that matches the solid gray color that we allow. And here is yet another solid gray sweatshirt that is allowed at school. 
The following are examples of sweatshirts that are not allowed. Even though they are solid in color, they are not the approved colors. These colors are not approved either. These are not school appropriate. Jackets and outerwear are different from the previous definition for sweatshirts. Jackets or outerwear are easily zipped and unzipped and removed. The zip typically goes all the way from the very top to the very bottom of the jacket and can be taken off easily. These items must not have a logo of alcohol, tobacco, controlled substances, or offensive lettering or pictures that might be offensive in nature and cause a disruption to the educational process. Overcoats or trench coats are not allowed. There are no color designations with jackets. For young ladies, this is an example of an appropriately collared uniform top. These polos can be worn in white, navy, red, and black. Just so we're clear, ladies, this is not an appropriate uniform top. It does not have a collar. It is also not a PTA t-shirt. Also, it is not within uniform guidelines just because you put a jacket on with it. Be sure that when you're wearing a jacket, the shirt underneath meets uniform guidelines. The shirt in this picture does not have a collar and it's not a PTA t-shirt. Therefore, it does not meet the uniform guidelines. Also, we would like to clarify that college t-shirts are not school approved tops. Please do not wear these items to school. Plaid shirts are also not part of the Spanish Fort uniform policy for males or females. Please do not wear these plaid tops to school. Ladies, please be sure that your top meets the standard set forth by the uniform policy where shirts must completely cover the midriff area when sitting and standing and should expose no cleavage. This is an example of shorts that meet the uniform policy. The policy states that shorts must be mid-thigh or fingertip length, whichever is longer. Please notice that the fingertip rule does not make a pair of shorts appropriate. It is best to use the mid-thigh length as your guide. If your shorts, skirts, and dresses meet the guidelines of mid-thigh, there will not be an issue based on appropriate length. Here are several examples of shorts that do not fall within the uniform guidelines. We have added the red line to show approximately where these shorts would need to be in order to be appropriate. Also, the policy states clearly that no tights, leggings, or jeggings are to be worn. The only way that these items can appropriately be worn is if they are worn with a pair of uniform shorts, skirt, or dress that meets the uniform policy for fit and length. We have also stated many, many times that Nike shorts or athletic shorts are never an approved part of the school uniform policy. Please note that when these items are worn together, they do not suddenly become an appropriate clothing choice. Ladies, please do not wear these items. This video is being created to provide a clear description of acceptable school clothing. Our goal is to be sure that you understand the policy as we move forward in addressing uniform violations. Please remember that not every detail or situation can be explicitly covered in this video. Therefore, please refer to the Baldwin County Uniform Policy or ask an administrator if you have any questions.